Hey y'all, so Unity dropped an experimental vehicles package that is really awesome. So this video is just to make you aware that it's out there, point you to where it's at in the package manager, and explain a little bit of how to use it and why it's relevant. So this is the scene in the background. One of the most important callouts that I'll give before we jump into anything is that this is an entity component system or ECS system uh, within DOTS, the data oriented technology stack. So this is not necessarily oriented towards your object oriented programming and kind of your standard game dev, as I would call it. Um, and this is more about the large scale world simulation type pieces. So as long as you know that, then a few caveats uh, are going to make a whole bunch of sense. So let's go ahead and look at the documentation. So here inside of vehicles.1, and I'll link this in the description below, it explains how to set up a new game object, uh, how to set up wheels, and ensure that different authoring systems are pointed to the right places. But two of the main callouts that I want to make first are inside of window, and then package manager. Um, so just, and I'll list this in the description as well. Effectively, what you're going to want to do is install package by name. And the name of this first package is going to be com.unity.vehicles. So you're going to install that. Then what I install next is com.unity.entities.graphics. This is one that's easily searchable inside of the package manager, as I've shown here, listed as entities graphics. It will not work without that, as far as I can tell. And one last one is com.unity.inputsystem, or similarly, you can search input system over here in the package manager. But those are your three packages that you need to have this working. Once you have the vehicle system, then I can go into in project, and I wanna come down into vehicles and I wanna go over into samples. And here we wanna download either advanced or minimal vehicle samples or both. Um, and effectively the minimal is just a simple vehicle with vehicle setup. And the advanced has a bunch of different types of vehicles with different types of factors driving what they're doing and how they're doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the advanced vehicle sample just so that we can start poking around. Um, for those of you that immediately open it and see nothing, uh, you need those packages installed. So go and go and dive in and install the packages that we just walked through. Um, specifically the graphics one, you'll see literally nothing in here if you don't have that package. The next thing that you want to do is to effectively just hit play and make sure that it's running. And while it's running in the background, Let's go ahead and look over here at samples and better understand what's happening. So we have the minimal that we're not doing right now and the advanced that we are within a complex environment. We have vehicle prefab, so you can do a car, a pickup, a monster truck with longer suspension than the pickup, a big truck, so that would be a semi truck with large number of forward and reverse gears or a trailer, which is a simple trailer setup that passively attaches to the truck through a joint, just so you can see how that works. It also lists the prefabs that you'll be using, as well as the default keyboard bindings, being WASD for direction, space for handbrake, E for engine start and stop, left shift is to shift up in gear, left control is to shift down in gear, and then you have one, two, three, four, five for the number keys to select your vehicle. The only other thing that I'll call out here is if you go into vehicle configuration, you can get much deeper into exactly what each item does in here. And if you go into net code, you can get even deeper into the vehicle control prediction system and other elements. So this is extremely relevant because there really is not an easy way to get this up and going. I still remember years ago, um, I was tasked with creating a vehicle system quickly and it's, uh, there might be an asset or two on the asset store, but it does take a bit of know-how and knowledge and also understanding and how vehicles work. Okay. So now that we are in the scene, it is running in the background. You'll notice if I hit one, it respawns my car. 
If I hit two, we get our pickup. If I hit three, we get our monster truck. If I hit four, we get our truck truck. And if I hit five, we get our truck with the trailer attached. So you can start to see how that's going to work. And let's go ahead and hit one so that we can respawn as a car. So you can see here how it operates and can drive over obstacles or lack thereof, depending on the type of car that you're using. Let's say we come all the way up here. You can see how we have some skid marks that show up as we start to rotate around the scene. All of that is part of this system. And then let's say I come way out here and want to try to make an attempt at this loop. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, those skids are cool. And I believe there's a skid generator on each tire. So as you use items or vehicles that have bigger tires, that did not go as planned. Um, that it will actually skid for each and every tire that you've got. All right, let's make one more attempt at this. And we'll respawn. <laughs> Now you can see how that's going to behave versus the monster truck where we should be able to roll pretty easily over all of these cars. Oh, wow. This is much harder to control, which I'm enjoying. So this is more or less the playground that you get to play around in. This is the scene that opens as a result of you installing the sample. And just as a quick reminder, if you've not used Unity much at all, this is dots and ECS. Once you've installed a sample, it typically installs inside of a samples folder down here. And once you get in here, you can go into advanced vehicle sample scenes and open up this scene. And that's the scene that we're currently in. The way that dots and ECS works is that you typically have a core scene, which is your advanced vehicle scene over here in the top left of my hierarchy. And that will load in your sub scene. So there's a little bit of, uh, it will be a bit unintuitive if you never used dots and ECS before how the scene operates, but you will quickly pick it up as you're kind of moving around the scene and understanding how each piece of this works. It is an experimental package, so I believe it's currently in version 0.1. Expect to see many iterations on this, and hopefully this is going to make it that much easier for you to get in and create very quick vehicle physics and implement your own vehicle models and understand how they move in a large environment like this. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's added some value just to see the packages out here, how to get it installed, how to open up that sample scene, what the keybinds are, and how to move around this scene. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.